everyone, welcome to Bougie Popcorn. Today we're going to make kettle corn, an all-time favorite. If you don't know what kettle corn is, it is a popcorn that is popped with sugar and it has salt added on top of it. So it's a both sweet and salty snack. It's really nice flavor combination and when you make it yourself, you can adjust the flavor profiles to make it a saltier snack or a sweeter snack. Kettle corn is one of the things that I struggled with. Um, I read a lot of blogs. There are a lot of things out there that talk about um, heating up the oil first, uh, which types of oil to use, and I just wasn't having any luck. I ended up continually burning the sugar and having this burnt popcorn flavor. And actually the, cattle, the kernels were getting burnt as well. And I said, okay, I'm just gonna go with my gut. I'm gonna make it the way I think I should make it. And it came out great. So I'm gonna show you what that method is. I don't know if there are differences in my stove or differences in the way that I cook it. This is the way that works for me. You might wanna try and look at other blogs and see the other things that they say, cause those methods might work better for you depending if you have an electric stove top or if you're at a different altitude um, or different even humidity level. I don't know, those things may be different for depending on your location, but this is just what works for me and I'll show you how I do it. So I like to pop my kettle corn in coconut oil. I do say it will leave a coconut flavor behind. If you want something a little less forward tasting, you can use a more neutral oil like avocado oil, which is what I generally pop my popcorn in, or uh, peanut oil would work really well too. But because I really like the flavor of coconut and I like the way that it's a forward flavor in the kettle corn, I'm gonna use coconut oil today. So I'm using organic virgin unrefined coconut oil. That's just what I use. Um, I don't think it makes too much of a difference. Um, I also like for the coconut oil to be a little bit loose uh, when I put it in the pan because I'm gonna add this to the, pan, to the cold pan instead of heating up the oil ahead of time. So I have my measuring cup on a little um, heating element, which will help me loosen up the oil while standing here. Uh, you can also put it in the microwave for a couple of seconds. That works equally as well. So we need a third of a cup of coconut oil and I'm just letting it loosen up to make sure that we measure it correctly. Let me see if I can move it over a little bit. So I have this little heating element. I think this I bought at Walmart years and years ago. It's um, meant for heating up wax or potpourri in a cup with some water. Um, it is not temperature regulated at all. I, I actually bought it so that if I have melted butter on the table, um, it won't solidify. Um, it does get warmer than a normal like coffee warmer or something that would um, be similar, but coconut oil generally melts in your hand with your body temperature. So you don't need a lot of heat to get it to loosen up. And you don't really have to have it completely loose. It can have a little bit of solid in there too when you put it in the pan. So a third of a cup of coconut oil. And with that, we need also a third of a cup of white sugar. You can play around with this. You can use turbinado sugar. You can use brown sugar. I like the flavor and the texture that white sugar leaves. So we're going to use that. And then we've been playing with all different kinds of fancy popcorns and um, mushroom popcorn and black popcorn and Amish popcorn. And what works best is the regular old store-bought popcorn. So Orville Redenbacher, your popcorn is the best for this. So I have here regular store-bought popcorn and we're gonna use a half a cup of that. And this will cook on the stove top in our whirly pop and I will go over to the stove, bring you with me and you can see the magic happen. 
I almost forgot an uh, important part of this. You do need salt. And I like to have the salt ready in a bowl so that as soon as it comes out of the pan, you can apply the salt while it's hot. And that's really gonna get you the nice uh, texture and flavor that you want. Here it is, our kettle corn. I had to pour it out onto a silpat lined tray right as it came out. It comes out very sticky and you have to let the sugar on it cool so that it'll have that like crystalline sugar outside of it. This batch came out really good. I can taste the coconut flavor just slightly. The, the sugar has melted on the oil and has put a very, very light candy coating on top of the popcorn. And then you make sure you salt it right away while it's still sticky in. You have to be careful, make sure it's not too hot and taste it and see if you've salted it enough to your liking. I think today is a good day for kettle corn and I hope you try it. Thanks for watching, I'll see you later. Okay.